What's happening guys, Daniel here, founder of the DGB Photography School. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a photograph I took in Japan. I'm gonna be talking about the camera gear that I was using, and I'm gonna show you exactly how I developed this image and exactly how I got from here to here using Adobe Lightroom alone to develop my RAW files. Let's jump in. So welcome to Lightroom. I'm in the library module right now. So if you have a look at the top right hand corner here, you've got library, develop and print. If you've never used Lightroom before, just quickly before we get started, I recommend you just do my free five day Lightroom course. Just visit onelightroomworkshop.com completely free and you'll, you'll learn all the fundamentals about using Lightroom and developing your raw files. So before we start developing this image, let me just talk about a, a few things associated with the composition of this image because it is a little bit odd. I was shooting with a Nikon D600, which is an older full frame camera from Nikon and I was using my 35mm f1.4 lens and I was shooting at f1.4. So you might notice straight off the bat here that the composition is quite odd. Off to the right here there's actually a tree and I haven't included that in the photograph and what that's done is sort of misaligned everything. So compositionally to me right now this image looks a little bit imbalanced. Now if I had my time again, I probably would have gone back to this same place and I would have stood directly in front of these stairs and placed those stairs and the building here right in the center because I love symmetry in my images and I haven't quite achieved that. But what we can do with cropping the image a little bit is attempt to fix that up. The other problem that you'll notice here is this, this couple, I actually spoke to them first. I asked them if I could take their photograph and uh, I just wanted them to be in the moment and do whatever it was that they were doing. Um, and I would have actually asked them to move over to the left a little bit so that they were also sitting in the center of the stairs. And of course, in hindsight, all of these things, uh, all of these things come to mind, but that's why it's very important to review your own images. So don't, you know, I, I know so many people that take a bunch of photographs from when they go traveling and they never really look at them properly and they never go through the selection process of choosing one photograph over another photograph. So two images that are essentially the same. We, you need to review them so you can work out which one's better, which one's better compositionally, light-wise, etc. So that you know next time what you can do in the field to improve your images. So let's start by the first thing I do on all of my photographs is I I apply my DJB preset. This is something on the left. This is, this is something that I talk about in the free Lightroom workshop. But basically, a preset is just a preset set of instructions that that sort of give you your style so you can I, this is a preset that I apply to every single image and there's a whole bunch of settings on the right here that I apply to every single photograph to give me that signature look okay so I apply my preset and generally what I do is when I'm when I'm looking at my photographs I fix the things that annoy me the most first so in this particular case there's two things off the bat here that I can see first of all you can see here that the, the foreground and actually this entire image is quite underexposed. So underexposed meaning too dark. What I want to do first of all is just fix up the exposure in this image. So I'm just going to take the exposure slider, brighten that up just a touch. And what I can do to brighten up this foreground area is actually go over to the adjustment brush. I can choose my I like to use my DJB clarity spot. This is just something that is a, uh, a custom, this is a custom brush that I've made um, and all that's doing is increasing the exposure by 0.2 you can see there and increasing the clarity by 10, just a touch. So let's, one, one of the key things with, with using the clarity spot, with using the adjustment brush actually, is to use a bigger brush than you need to and then erase it back. And we do that because we want our changes to be authentic and subtle okay that's what developing digital photographs is all about development with authenticity so let's just do a big stroke across the front here you'll see where i've painted it's just straight across the front it's got a bit of feathering going on there you can sort of see that darker red area is fading into a lighter area and that helps blend in the um the, the change that we're trying to make and i can show this this is what i call the paint you can turn that on and off by pressing o and that's just to show us where we've painted. 
now that we've actually done the painting we can do all kinds of things so if I can I can just darken this entire area I can make it super bright what I want to do though is just brighten that up just a touch I might actually take the shadows and just brighten that up a little bit as well and the next thing I'm going to do is just create a new spot a new clarity spot just on this couple and I'm going to just increase the clarity just a touch up to 20 on them now when I look at this the girl's dress here is a little bit too bright so I'm going to go back to the little brush point that I just selected click on it take the highlights and I'm going to drop those highlights down so it's not too blown out there next thing I'm going to have a look at the cropping and the framing of this image because it doesn't feel right right now you've got a lot of sort of negative space in the top left here you've got a little bit there this is totally imbalanced so what I'm going to do is click on the cropping tool and I'm going to drag this in always hold down shift when you're reframing because you want to maintain that 3 to aspect ratio and I'm just going to crop this in so that this this little cent the center of this building is, is roughly in the center of my image let's bring that in a little bit more now let's have a look at it so again this is a subjective process um, you can frame your images however you see fit um, I like to create a little bit more space around my images unfortunately with this this particular one I can't get perfect symmetry which is what I want um, purely because of the way that I took this image in the first place um, what I'm going to do now is just straighten this a little bit so I like the strongest lines in my image to be straight in this particular case I'm looking at this fence I'm looking at the stairs and I feel like I need to bring the right hand side down a little bit so again I go to the cropping tool in the right and I just rotate this over just a touch and bring that down um, what I'm going to do now just get rid of some of that space at the bottom of the stairs there let me bring that back down again this is again something that I uh, for me personally I need to visualize it to work out if it's the right decision or not now this is really about it there's a couple of little things that I can do here just to improve this a little bit more on the right hand side see these little branches here we can clean this up using the spot removal tool you can see that there I'm going to choose my brush size I can actually scroll up and down on the mouse and you, that will change the size of that that brush so one little stroke there so a few let's paint this area in a little bit you can see how it automatically samples from there let's see how that looks it's actually fine I can't see any issue with what Lightroom's done there apart from this obvious thing here so what we can do now is just wait for it to load I'm just going to create another point just to get rid of that patch so I'm gonna click there and move the source over here and let's see what happens done a terrible job Lightroom thank you very much let's go in again let's see if I can select this it's sometimes a bit of a bit of a pain in the butt when you've got two points overlapping like this let me try this again I'm going to bring this off to the side here and let's now scroll up to see what it's trying to do it's trying to sample from a very bright area I think that's a much better spot to source this from let's scroll down now that we're at one to one let's have a go I just let's just slowly progress through these these little branches here yeah excellent paint this area in I like to do this bit by bit um, because sometimes Lightroom does some funny things with its spot removal let's try and take a bit of a gamble do a bit more here not bad and then this little bit here how are you doing that okay so that's not too bad I mean really this is something that you need to spend a lot of time on if you want it to be perfect I've just sort of done this reasonably quickly if I zoom out it's not too bad Let's just go back into the cropping tool again and just straighten this image and I think I think we're pretty good here let's have a look at the before and after create a copy what I'm gonna do is reset this one to scratch copy the only thing I want to copy here is the crop so that we can get a good comparison and what I was like, let's move this one onto the left. There we go. 
and we're done. Don't forget to jump onto the onelightroomworkshop.com website and do my free five day online beginners Lightroom workshop. It's real, it's all video based, it's really easy um, and it's great if you're just starting out with digital photography and developing your raw files. Catch you next time.